Jesus. Page 5. Hi guys, welcome back to PageFly video tutorial series. This is a new video in the series of videos named What PageFly Can Do. In these videos, I will use PageFly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites. To show you capability of PageFly, Today, I will guide you how to build a home page based on ButcherBox homepage. Let's take a quick look at the page. The home page of a website is really important because it's often the first thing that visitors see. It can help to make a good impression and build trust with potential customers. If the home page isn't well designed or is outdated, people may leave the site quickly. So to get started, Let's click on create from blank page then select page type which is home page. Here we are currently in the PageFly page editor. And I'm going to show you how to spruce up this section and make it look awesome. Let's dive in. To make the text can be shown on image like the sample page. I will add background image for the section. Click on more setting to adjust its position and size. Next I will add the padding for the section to make it bigger. After that, let add to headings and one button in the section. Now, we can click on each element and switch into the styling tab to style it as the way you want. For the first heading, I will change the font family, font size font weight, and line height. And I will change its content like the sample page. You can change it in the general tab. You can continue with the second heading, and here is the result. Now, I will add the margin. Adjust the text alignment and background color for the row to restyle it like the sample. Next I will add the padding for the column. I will show you how to styling the button like the sample page. Don't forget to change the content in the general tab. And the last one is font family. Done. To add the link into the button, please click on it. On the general tab, you can see the click action function here. Just need to paste the link like this. Next, let's drag and drop to headings. A content list element and a button into the new section. I will restyle the headings and button with the same process as the two headings above. And here they are. With the button I will use the copy and paste style to save time. To make the button is on the center. Click on this row and set center for text alignment in styling tab. And don't forget to change the button text in general tab. With content list, you only need to customize an element in one content list item, and the style will be applied to that element in content list in particular. You can change the content in each item. Please check our description for more detail about content list element. Here you can see, and this is the final result. For the next section, I will drag and drop one half layout. On the left side, there will be two headings and one paragraph. The heading and paragraph will have the same style as the above. Don't forget to change its content in the general tab. With this heading, we can turn on the icon option and change it here. Easy, right? Next, we have hover state for heading so switch into the mouse over state to restyle the heading as the way you want, like this. On the other side, it is an image element. 
choose Select Image in the General tab. I will change the image ratio to Custom and adjust the image height to 431. Also choose the image position is Center. Now, let's move on to styling the columns to match the sample page. With a little bit of coding, we can achieve the perfect look. Simply add the provided code to your CSS code editor and your columns will be transformed in no time. I will enable shadow and set the background color. To make it center to the image, click row and set the content position is center in the general tab. And the final step is add the padding for the column. Here we are. For the second row, we'll adjust the padding of the right column using negative margin and incorporate the corresponding code. It's as simple as that. And for the next rows, all you need to do is duplicate the previous row and modify the content for each column. It is amazing at how easy it is to create a visually stunning and professional looking web page, right? Move on to the next section. Let's add a background image and a button element. To ensure that the button displays perfectly at the end of the banner, I'll make some simple adjustments to the padding. To make it center, click to the column man choose center and text alignment in the styling tab. And here is the final result. Don't forget to change its content in the general tab. With these straightforward steps, creating an eye-catching and effective banner has never been easier. After adding the heading to this section, it's time to enhance it by adding an Instagram feed element which help you to promote your brand and create a more engaging user experience. For more information on how to make the most of this powerful feature, be sure to check out our description. To ensure that your website is mobile friendly, it's important to carefully review all padding, margins, and font sizes on the mobile view. By taking the time to check these key elements, you can create a user-friendly and visually appealing mobile experience for your visitors. We've reached the end of our journey, time to check the live view. And here is our result. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more new videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Thanks for watching.